did some shopping, took advantage of a couple of deals, and got some new Pokemon merchandise, and I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up. First of all, if you are a usual subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to this channel and this is your first video watching, I welcome you as well. Uh, the focus right now of this channel is going to be Pokemon TCG, whether that be in real life or online, and eventually it will broaden into other Pokemon related t content. But on to the main event. As you can see, first of all, I have a shirt here. Now, I could zoom out a little bit with the shirt, but you can kind of tell already what's on it. It says Pokemon on the top, it says Pikachu. I picked up this shirt at ThinkGeek. Uh, I went to the store and they looked at their clearance shirts and they had a whole bunch of the Pokeball shirts as well as um, this Pikachu shirt for $9.97, but it was also a buy one, get one free deal. So I picked up this shirt for myself and then I picked up a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, t-shirt for my significant other. I figured I also lend her or I give her a gift as well because she's been working so hard this week. But look, it's a pretty sweet shirt, pretty solid, pretty decent. If you are looking for a shirt, go check out Think Geek. They have a pretty sweet deal on those shirts. The main deal I took advantage of was at GameStop. It looks to be that they have another big sale going on. I guess it's called their Play Day Sale where they have a bunch of toys um, and also Pokemon related items on sale. So like Minecraft was like 20% off on their toys. And then they had like Pokemon toys 20% off as well as the Pokemon pin collection boxes or any of the collection boxes. But I kind of did small shopping and picked up booster packs because their booster packs was actually buy three, get one free. So I essentially just paid about 12, $13 for all four of these packs. And I went ahead and picked out one of each of the most recent expansions. I'm pretty sure I, I did just that. So Ultra Prism was the last one. Crimson Invasion came up before that. Burning Shadows was before that. And then we had Guardians Rising uh, all the way back. I guess this was the one expansion, the first expansion after Sun and Moon base set. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and picked up all four of these. Oddly enough, uh, I don't know if all the GameStops are doing this now, but when I picked up, like, let's say the Guardian's Rising sleeve, it was like completely flat. It was empty. Uh, what they did was like they took, took out all like the booster packs and, and just put them in the back in a box and they left the empty sleeves on, on the rack, on the, on the little hook. And, and I thought first when I when I picked it, I was like, oh man, someone must have stolen this one. So I picked up like the Crimson Invasion one and it was the same thing. And I was like, what is going on? And eventually I, I figured it out right away that now they carry all their booster packs uh, in the back of the store. So that way, you know, people don't just go open them up and steal them right there. I mean, it is a problem everywhere, especially at Walmarts and things like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so GameStop had this sale going on, buy three, get one free. So I decided to take advantage of that deal. Uh, I was going to get a collection box for 20% off, but I actually found a couple other things that I bought instead. So I needed to spare my money wisely, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up this first pack here. So I do chronological order, starting with the oldest. Put that off to the side. Now, I'm gonna be occasionally buying Guardians Rising or I'm actually gonna be okay with getting Guardians Rising because I really, really want a Tapu Lele GX. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get one because this is a green code card. But here is the code card, nevertheless, if you guys want this one. I don't need any more Guardians Rising from my online game. I have just enough there. So let's do the card trick, one, two, three, four. All right, and we're off. So Fighting Tentacruel Lampit. Sudowoodo, very nice. Gumi, Wimpod, Nosepass, Wishy Washy, Slowpoke, Pancham Reverse, and our rare is a Waylord. Now, as far as the star card, I'm gonna give it up to Wishy Washy. I think he's one of the most under and estimated cards. Uh, he's not that particularly strong, obviously, uh, but he has a nice little ability where once during your turn, uh, you can. Well, this one, you can switch this out for the Wishy Washy GX that's in your hand. So let's say for some reason or somehow you manage to build up a whole bunch of water energy on this, you can essentially switch this out for the big Wishy Washy that's in your hand, which has a high energy cost anyway. So 
That could come very much in handy. I'm gonna put wishy-washy in the back. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it there. I'm gonna separate my cards. Reverses, commons and uncommons, and then rares off to the side as well. So that will be kind of my piles over there to the side. All right, next up, we got, uh, yeah, Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows. I'm hoping out of these four packs, I pick up something really nice, some really nice ultra rare. All right. I know, my camera's shaking all over the place. Uh, ooh, a white coat card. Uh, I do need Burn Shadows online pack, so I am gonna hang on to that. Four to the front. All right, we got Psychic, uh, a Heat More, okay, a Weakness Posse, Poe Town, Charmander, Meryl, Hand Sage, Esper, Pikachu, Reverse Togedemaru. I like the lightning effects on this. And our, ooh, our ultra rare is a Gardevoir GX. Very nice card, very nice pull. Uh, one of the strongest decks in the middle right now. Pretty sweet, I can use that for trade. I don't think I'm gonna build a Gardevoir GX deck anytime soon. So if anyone's interested in that, um, just let me know. And I'm gonna put this off to the side. So star card goes to the Gardevoir GX. All right, so we're one for two as of right now, 50% rate. Crimson Invasion is next. All right. Opening up, oh, this one. I don't know why a lot of people don't really like Crimson Invasion that much. Well, I hear there's a lot of hate for this set. I guess the pull rates were extremely low. I like some of the cards in here. Ooh, another white code card. One, two, three, and four. All right, and start off with a fairy. Goes great with the Gardevoir GX card. Fairy, Staravia, Grumpig, Mawile, Salandit, Starly, Skiddo, 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 Pikachu. He's got an attack called Pika Draw. Draw a card. Huh, that's funny. I never noticed that. Sorry. A Lolan Geodude. Oh, nice. A reverse rare. Uh, it's a Xerneas. And I just love the art behind this. Like, I'm going to see if you guys can get a closer look on that. But it is some really detailed art. And this is probably my favorite art of all the Xerneas cards that have been made so far. Um, this is just this is just awesome. All right, and our rare hollow rare, if not better, is a go goat. Okay, well that was that was anticlimactic. Star card of the pack is gonna go to this reverse rare here, this Xerneas card with the beautiful artwork. Uh, very nice, goes great with that Gardevoir GX. And now for the cherry to the uh, to the cake here, cherry to the ice cream, cherry to the milkshake, cherry to whatever it is that you want that you want cherries on. I like cherries. Anyone like else like cherries? Hit that like button if you like chips. Yeah, I know. I know, that was cheesy. All right, oh, I think we saw a bit of something here. You guys can have the Ultra Prism card since I accidentally showed it, it's okay. I, I think I got enough Ultra Prism. One, two, three, and four. So I did see, I think we pulled a, a GX card here, but we'll see. So Dark Energy, Shield On, uh, Gum Shoes, Cherim, Chimchar, Lickitung, Scorpi, Gibble, Dupider. He's like, what's going on? That's what he says. And Reverse Cherim. And our Ultra Rare is a Dialga GX. This is my fourth Dialga GX. I could essentially make a Dialga, Dialga GX car, uh, deck if I wanted to. I don't. I really don't need four Dialga GXs. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But still, it's pretty sweet that we pulled that ultra rare card right there. All right. So moving everything off to the side. Uh, overall, out of four packs, I got two ultra rares as well as one reverse rare. Um, one was a miss, but hey, you got to love Wishy Washy. That's actually a really good picture of him. Uh, but overall, I think I got a pretty nice haul for 12 bucks. I think Gardevoir alone is about, what, a four, four, five dollar card. Dialga is about a three. So did I make my, did I get my money's worth? Probably not, maybe, but um, they are still pretty nice cards. So the Gardevoir GX 
the the Alga GX, the Wishy Washy, and the beautiful Xerneas art uh, to the Xerneas card here. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, again, uh, best uh, not Best Buy, GameStop. GameStop is having this sale: the buy three get one free on booster packs and 20% off on the Pokemon collection boxes and 20% off on their toys, their Pokemon toys as well. So it, it ends on April 1st, so uh, you still have some time to go to uh, check them out and see what they have in stock, I suggest that you do. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments, any uh, any sort of helpful comments or any, you know, random, awkward, you know, wanna be funny comments. I'm trying to reply to everybody. I mean, it's not like it's that hard. I don't have a whole lot of people commenting me, on me anyway, um, but I still try to do my best uh, on commenting everyone that comes my way. And yeah, let me know if you are interested in one of these cards. Maybe we can set up some sort of trade or whatnot. And, uh, and that's going to be just about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.